Hello everyone, this is Betsy from Ideas Times 2 and today I have the final page in our our mermaid lap book so I'm very excited all the work that we've been doing together um, very happy with it, the way everything turned out so next I will show you how to make the very last element um, but first I am going to show you um, we ended up with or we did we did this ephemera it's basically an ephemera folder and so I will um, run that one run through that with you um, I also wanted to show you uh, we did the frame and I know I showed you that already but um, I also wanted to show you what I put inside of it but also to show you the stenciling so I used my um, from our floating pockets I had made a template of a wave and so I just used this piece as my stencil and I just um, you know brushed it layer by layer and we've got little waves there so I just want to show you that and then on the inside so I have a large uh, journal card and I just put um, it is I don't know it's eco stained somehow but I don't remember what I used but I just liked the way the the wavy lines were on there so that's a nice sturdy uh, journal card and then I made this um, mermaid I had a, a mermaid embossing folder so I, I put some distress glaze on there ink, inked it up distress glaze I did some, a little bit of painting in her hair um, and inking and did a little sewing on it as well so um, and then I backed it with um, a stained paper as well and so that just gets tucked right in there so that's the way I finished that so the ephemera folder on the inside looks like this um, I did forget to put I'm gonna I don't know make make a little snippet or something to put on here I did tie some little pieces of eyelash trim here just to make it sort of look seaweedy ish <laughs> and then a lot of these are cutouts from the paper line I also put some tickets in here um, this is a, a stained index card and a little snippet on there and then this is from the paper line too and it it's shaped like that well it's shaped like a square I just cut out this part of it and then folded it like this to sort of just make it look like a, a bookmark and um, so that's that and then this side is a double triple it's a triple pocket so if I take these out this is a pocket here this is the pocket here and then I just I just brought this glued this image uh, so that it just stuck out um, a little ways from this pocket so there's a pocket there pocket there and then I also made this image into a pocket which houses these tiny little tags I, sew I sewed some sequins on there to make sort of look like buttons but they're shiny I don't know if you could see it there because of the glare on the sticker itself um, and then on the back of this this is like a um, coin envelope a larger coin envelope so I just did some collage work on here I made this uh, jagged edge into a pocket and so if there's a, t a little tag there and then oh I was thinking why did this not lift up but I, I left room back there to ho hold a paper clip just in case this flap um, wasn't cooperating but it I think it stays down just fine and then I just I stenciled and stamped on this um, green paper it's a very firm cardstock so there's that and then this clip can stay on there um, okay so this image is also a little pocket I just have a fold out and a piece of Monopoly money something fun and different <laughs> this is a file folder that um, comes down so this is a little swivel tag here and then it holds it holds the file folder shut and then I made a almost like a little postcard out of the sticker and the paper that I had been using previously this striped paper is actually from a different paper line for graphic 45 I, it's the one with hot air balloons and I'm not real sure the name of it 
and this does keep it closed just fine but I was finding my card was slipping out a little bit so I went ahead and put a clip on over the top of the page like that so just a few things I've added oh I wanted to show you this too uh, these papers were not staying in either I put the pocket on this side of the page and so whenever I turned it like this all the things were falling out and so I just put a belly band with a magnet so I, I slipped it was kind of hard because this was already glued down but I slipped a magnet under here with a piece of paper over it so it didn't uh, interfere with anything going in and out put a magnet under here and it just it snaps shut and it keeps all, all those papers nice and snug so I was I was pretty happy with that and then just for looks I put a, a bulldog clip up here so I will be putting eyelets and charms in here as well probably on the uh, file folder tabs maybe on this uh, bulldog clip up, clip up there this little junk journal I hand dyed all these papers this one has a lace pattern on it I also have papers that are orange and yellow some of them are not dry yet the orange ones are dry but the yellow ones are not so my plan was to put one here a little junk journal here too but I'm not sure if it's gonna fit but even if it doesn't I think I'll be selling this in my Etsy shop and I will include that um, that little junk journal in in the purchase of this whole journal so not sure if it's gonna fit so that kind of brings me to the next thing that we're gonna do <laughs> so we still have one hinge left and the book is getting pretty big um, it stays shut great when it's flat like this but when I put it up it has a tendency to pop open like that so I do need to try to find um, a closure of some kind just to keep it shut and I have a few ideas for that so I might have to come back and show you that as well but um, the signet or the signature or you could call it an insert too for the um, junk journal is held in with uh, sari silk so that will be here and then if I have another signature or insert then that I will have another piece of silk here so so we'll, we have to figure I I have to figure that out figure that one out all right so since I'm running out of room I am going to um, put something a little bit simple here but fun anyway so that's what we will be doing next I'm also running out of paper this is um, basically a whole paper pad that I've used for this journal um, I also will be cutting more of the journal cards the ephemera cards out of the paper I have a couple papers that have all the cards on them and I didn't want to use those up because I wanted to put them in the pockets and everything so I am sort of running out of the just plain patterned paper but I have enough to make a pocket so I'm gonna make a large pocket it's gonna face this way going vertically in the book this will be the flap and then I'm going to fold this one back like this and that's gonna be a tuck spot on the back of the envelope so the first thing um, so I measured my book and it's ten and a half inches this way and then my pocket just for reference in case you're needing to know the pocket itself I think it's around six inches it is it's about six inches exactly alrighty so I'm trying to think the first step we are going to do is probably I'm gonna, I'm gonna measure this because I kinda liked the distance of this so this is an inch and five eighths I'm gonna write that down and take my clips off so I put a I put clips on it so I could sort of picture the whole thing and what I'm going to do first is sew a hinge so this will be folded backwards and so this was going to be open I'm going to be putting a hinge here at the bottom of the um, envelope at the bottom and on the inside so this will be the inside and then the other part of this hinge will be glued right onto the um, 
the hinges of the book. So it'll be nice and nice and easy to move back and forth. All right, so now I think I'm going to want it this way because I kind of like the the idea that the stripe will show. So, let's see. Yeah, I think the first thing we'll do is just glue on the hinge. It's going to be like this in the book and this is directional, so I'm going to make sure I've got this going the right way. Bring it right up to the fold line. Just making sure it's not going over the fold line and interfering. I know we've talked about that probably a bunch of times here. So I know you guys know that. All right, so that goes like that. So that'll give that a chance to dry. All right, and then I'm going to I will be sewing around the outside edge of this, so, um, but before I do that, I'm going to make a V here, and it can be, well, it could be shallow. We don't want it too deep because we don't want our flap, we don't want it to show um, underneath our flap or sticking out from our flap. We don't want that. So all I'm going to do here is draw a line from... Okay, first of all, I'm going to find my middle, my center. This is ten and a half inches, so that would be five and a quarter, which is right there. And then all I'm going to do is bring this line down a little bit using my, my grid, line it up with the edge of the paper. Just bring that down so I can see that all the way down. Okay, and then I'm going to decide on... how deep to make that V. Okay, and I think that's about right. So I'm gonna draw from the corner just to the center line. And then from this corner here to the point where the line I just drew and the center line meet. And that way we'll get a nice even little V here in our envelope. Instead of just punching a thumb, thumb grab, I thought that would be kind of nice to have that on there. Find my scissors, and then I'm just going to cut, cut that and erase any lines if I need to. Great. All right. I do need to erase that center line just a little bit. I think that'll make a nice pocket. All right. What I'm going to do next is clip this back together, line it up, and clip it back together. And I'm going to be making, I'll, I'll be making my score marks first before I take it over to the sewing machine. All right, so this edge was one and five eighths inch, one and five eighths. So I want to make sure that I put a score mark there. It's, once again, I'm just going to put a little pencil mark there. Okay, and grab my square board. can just get five and uh, one and five eighths right from here. I didn't need to actually do the mark. One and five eighths. That nice and scored. And then also should I should figure out the the height of the envelope. When I laid it in the book, six inches was a great size plus a little more. So all I'm going to do is. 
eyeball that and I'm going to grab my book and make sure that that's a good actually I'm going to just measure it so if I fold it right there it's going to be six and a half inches and I think that's perfect for the book all I'm doing now is just trying to decide how big my flap is going to be six and a half whoops there goes my glue six and a half so that will come right to the edge of that six and a half should be perfect okay so that's great that is great news and <laughs> my glue dropped so like this so it would have spilled everywhere before I glue any of the sides or anything like that I want to stitch this line and then once I do that I will stitch here too because that's going to be the flap on the other side and then after that I think I can sew all the way around so I'll be back in a minute after I sew my V and then the top of the flap also before I before I do that I want the I want this flap on the other side to sort of be at an angle. So I've already scored this. I've already scored it and I know it's going to be facing this way. So what I'd like to do is make this look a little more interesting by putting a little bit of an angle on there. So I cut it off there and now I'm going to use this piece I cut off just to make this one exactly the same. Or close to it. You know, it's not going to be exactly the same. So I'm just holding it up and cutting. All right. Yep, and I there is a distinct possibility that I will want to cover this up with a contrasting color, but I will I I will come decide that after I get this all finished here. Alright, and that's where I had had it folded, so I'm going to go ahead and fold that there. I'll put that scoreboard away. Get that nice and burnished down. Alright, that's going to be super cute. Just like that. All right, be back in a minute. All right, all stitched up. I did forget to do this with you, and that is to angle this top pocket as well, so I did that. Um, otherwise, just stitched around, made sure these were lined up really well because this flap it gets glued to the uh, hinge on the book, and then this is the flap that I wanted to fold over up here for a tuck spot. So I did have to, that's the first seam I did was just this, this part where these folds were lined up together and then I just sewed it right there first and then went all the way around. All right, so now we've got a nice pocket and let's glue it in the book. And I just was, I was gonna put like a giant clip to keep that closed and then this can get stuffed with with things with goodies so that'll be it'll be lots of fun I love 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 the colors on this all right so my plan I'm gonna glue it to the back side well what I would consider the back I guess because when you go go this way in the book this is the front and then this would be the back so let's get that on And I think I will angle these two just a tiny bit. And we'll get that on. And this seems so simple, right? Seems so simple, but I think it's going to be uh, really cute when it's done. We'll have to decorate a little bit. I know it's a busy pattern paper, but Okay, is that a little too long? No, fits fits just right. Okay. Ooh, scared me for a minute. I was gonna have to cut that when all the glue was on it. All right. I 
actually was going to make the whole thing out of the same paper and just fold it and I made a mistake which is awful because I had these two pieces of paper left for for just patterned paper so pretty awful made myself a little bit nervous there but I think this works out really well with the two colors combined and like I said this will just be clip shut I think that will be so cool and then the only thing we have left to do is to glue this flap down too. Yeah, the, the only thing I wish about this paper is that it had a different color on the back, but it's orange and orange, so it's not going to be much of a contrast here, but maybe when I decorate the pocket it'll help it out a little bit. So a little glue there, a little glue at the top, and then press that down. And then we'll be able to, that's a little big. I'm just gonna show you something to tuck in. Glue some more fun thing, or I mean, tuck some fun things in there like that. So this will actually be more decorative. Probably put something here, I don't know, I don't know. And um, put lots of fun stuff in here too. I'm going to interrupt myself for a minute here. I went away and um, finished up the pocket. So I am going to show that to you. Here is the front. I put a belly band here. There's a couple of gears just for looks. And this shaker we had made together. Was it this one we made or the round one? Uh, we made a shaker, and so I do have a video on how to make a shaker. And so I put that there, and then this flap just gets um, tucked right underneath there to keep it shut. I had the clip on there, and I could still put a clip on there just for fun. I might do that. Um, and then inside I made a, a little booklet. So it's just paper from, not just, but it's paper from the paper pack and a journal card from the paper pack and then I just put miscellaneous papers. This is um, waxed waxed t um, tracing paper and with an ink treatment. And anyway, so I did that. Just put a little pamphlet stitch in it and left the bow on the outside. And then the back, I did put a contrasting strip here on this tuck spot and then these are cutouts from the paper pack and this is just a plain plainish one I have another paper pack and this uh, paper went with it really well so I just kind of stagger those like that so I just wanted to come come on and show you uh, what I did with that pocket made it made it look a little fancier so that is it for today um, the next video we are done we're done and so the next video will be a complete flip through and probably how I figured out a closure, although I can just show you that. I decided to just put a clip here, like that, and it keeps it nice and shut. So I like that, and it's a simple, very simple solution. I couldn't put anything around because of my collaging on the front. So that is it for today. Thank you everybody, and we will see you in the next video. Bye!